at the ILVO we, de at the ILVO we developed uh, a, a trough for catching shrimp with electricity. Um, herein we replaced the mechanical stimulation with lightweight electrodes uh, which create a low um, frequency electrical field. This field induces the shrimp to startle, they jump out of the seabed and uh, other organism, organisms are left untouched. Um, this, um, with this equipment there is no seabed disturbance and also the bycatch is reduced. In this graph we see, we see the, place is, the place bycatch is reduced with 62% and the whiting bycatch is reduced with 32%. Uh, furthermore, there was also a uh, more shrimp catch, which you see in this graph, uh, of 13%. Um, but so we, we think um, electrical fishing could be a promising alternative uh, for the demersal trout fishery. Um, but there are also a few concerns. Um, in cut, in other uh, publications, um, we saw spinal injury in cut with the sole pills, not with the shrimp pills. And in the freshwater um, experiments, um, there are also uh, brands reported or um, mortality. Um, we are also concerned about deformations, um, and that's what we are going to uh, investigate in my PhD. Um, in preliminary experiments, um, we exposed fish to the electrical field of the shrimp, uh, but we saw n uh, no mortality, no spinal injury, and only minor and brief fright reactions. But there are still some gaps in knowledge to um, uh, investigate, and that's why my PhD will, will further go, go on with. Um, first, long-term effects. Second, um, we will investigate the impact on invertebrates and uh, electrosensitive fish like sharks and ray. Um, also, I want to investigate the different life stages of soul, caught uh, some invertebrates. Um, and I have also a colleague, Maarten Soutert, who is, which, uh, he is doing a PhD, um, which will look how far we can go with these pulses and determine safe ranges of the pulses, which is very important for legislation of this equipment. <laughs> All right.